how's everybody doing? I hope we're all doing okay. And uh, uh, the leadership and I wanted to give you guys kind of an update of where we're at and uh, kind of what we're thinking for um, deciding to start meeting in person. Well, I just want to kind of get the cat out of the bag here and just tell you that we are wanting to meet in person for the first time this coming Sunday, May 24th. Um, you know, a lot of things have been up in the air and we've been discussing a lot of options. And as of right now, we feel like that's our best option. And so we are in the process of getting ready for that and just doing what we can to make sure that we can provide a, uh, a place that we can all worship together and do so in a safe environment. And so we want to um, make sure that we can provide that for you. That's part of the reason why we've been uh, patient with this process is because we want to make sure we're doing everything the right way and uh, thinking through every option to make sure that um, we are being safe and prudent and also um, doing what we can so we can worship together. Now to do this, um, it may uh, kind of seem like we're moving um, kind of slowly into the process. Yes, we're uh, meeting this Sunday, but we're not going to rush back to where everything's just back to normal. We're going to kind of take it a little slower. And um, what we've, we're proposing is a four-step plan to kind of get everything back to normal. Well, the first step, um, and I kind of want to kind of highlight the first two steps. And so the first step is uh, what we're doing this week. And that's getting the church building ready. And uh, getting everything from the cleaning of the church to worship leaders in place and volunteers in place and making sure that everyone is on the same page who's going to take a part in the um, actual planning of the very first service. And so uh, we want you to know that we are going to have the church building cleaned and set up and ready to go. And uh, hopefully there won't be any hiccups in the road on that. And we can have everything ready to go. Then, starting Sunday, will be the beginning of our stage or step two. And this is our reopening. This is when we're going to start meeting back together. And it's going to be this Sunday. And uh, I want to uh, tell you a couple of things about this. One is that um, there are going to be some things that are the same. Not all of it's going to be different. Um, you know, we're still going together together. We're still going to be singing praises to God through songs. We're still going to have uh, a prayer time uh, where we can pray for those that are in need and those that are sick. Um, we are still going to have communion together and offering, and there's still going to be a sermon. We're going to have all of that, and so a lot of it's going to feel like it's the same. However, there's also going to be some differences. Like I said, we want to provide a safe place, and we want to go slow into this and not rush into something uh, that we're not ready for. And so there's going to be some things that we have to kind of tweak and change in order to make sure that we're uh, doing all that we can to be as safe as possible. And so we're going to ask you why we come back together to kind of follow some social distancing rules as you are meeting together. The first one is that when you come in, uh, we ask you to try to remain six feet apart from one another. Now there's a few ways we're going to do this. One, uh, please don't congregate in the hallways or the entrances. Um, we ask that if someone's walking in, in front of you, give them distance, give them space. Uh, we also ask that whenever you go in to be seated, uh, we're going to move the rows apart from each other so there's more space in between each row. But we also ask that anyone that's not in your family group, that you try to leave at least two seats in between you and another family group. And this just allows us to make sure we have plenty of distance um, in between everyone so that way we're not spreading any germs or uh, any virus that we may have and hopefully no one has it but if someone does we're doing our part to try not to spread that. Now in order to keep these families kind of separate from each other a little bit it also means that we need to uh, kind of help keep our kids with us. Um, I know if your kids are like my kids they like to run around and go crazy and my daughter wants to hug everyone um, it's probably just not the best thing right now. And so we want to try to keep the kids with the parents. And so that way we kind of uh, are keeping those family groups together and keeping everything as safe as possible. Also, we want to let you know that uh, we're going to have hand sanitizer available at different locations throughout the church. Uh, we're going to try to have hand sanitizer in the bathrooms, um, on the table as you walk into the church, in the window of the kitchen, um, at different stations around the fellowship hall. We're going to have hand sanitizer available. So that way if you feel that you need to sanitize your hands uh, for whatever reason, 
uh, that will be available to you. We also are recommending uh, that people wear a mask. I know this is a little bit inconvenient and I know it's not ideal, um, but if you are in the congregation part where you are going to be a little closer, in order to help not spread germs, we are, we are asking you not to wear masks. Um, it's not something that we're forcing, but we are requesting that you do so um, just out of consideration for those around you. We also recommend and asking that you uh, not shake hands or hug. I know you're all going to want to hug each other. I'm going to want to hug people. Um, but again, we're wanting to keep that six foot distance. And it's hard to shake hands and hugs and be six feet apart. And so we want to make sure that we're keeping that distance. Uh, I also wanted to uh, mention that uh, we're not going to be doing children's church um, or uh, Sunday school at this time. Uh, we made this decision basically because the rooms that those would be in right now, it would be hard to keep social distancing happening in those rooms. And so right now, we're not going to do those. And so kind of every Sunday is going to be kind of like a family Sunday where the kids are in with us adults as we, uh, as we sing and praise God and learn about Him. And so we request that you uh, just kind of keep that in mind and kind of plan accordingly. So if you need to bring little activities for your little ones, um, or something like that, please do so. If you need help with that, you can let us know. I'm sure we can try to provide something. And then the last thing I want to kind of mention is that um, we're still working out exactly how it's going to be done, and we'll kind of let you know this um, uh, here to come, but uh, communion and offering plates will not be passed from person to person. Uh, we're looking into a couple options on that, and we're still kind of nailing it down exactly how we're going to do it, but we're trying to find ways to where uh, not everyone's touching the same exact tray and plate as they get passed along. And so we're trying to do things in the safest way possible to not spread germs. And so there will uh, uh, be a kind of a slightly different way that we're doing that. Um, I want to end today by just letting you know uh, that if you don't feel comfortable attending church right now, uh, for whatever reason, maybe you're higher risk or you're just not quite there yet with you and your family, uh, we get that. We're not pressuring you to come, but we kind of felt like we were ready to come back to church now. And um, so anyone who is willing to come and worship with us, uh, we'll welcome you. Um, if you're uncertain right now, that's okay. Feel free to stay home. We're still going to post, at the very least, the sermon online. Um, it won't be Sunday morning necessarily, but we'll post it uh, later on that evening or maybe the next day. And so you can still catch that if you're not uh, coming and worshiping with us, and that will still be something that you can do. Um, we also want to encourage you that if you're running a temperature or coughing, um, that you stay home at this time. If you're, if you're showing those uh, very clear signs that you could be sick, we, we ask that you don't, you don't come. We don't want any germs spread like that. Uh, we think it'd be better for you to stay home and get well and then come back and join us once you are uh, well, and the last thing I want to leave you with is that um, I, I just want to remind you that there's a lot of differing opinions about pretty much everything, and this is no different. There are going to be some people that think we're coming back too soon, some people that think that we're not coming back soon enough and we should have come back weeks ago. There are going to be people that think we're being uh, too strict with some of the guidelines we're doing, and other people that think we're not being strict enough. And whatever it may be, know that we are praying through things, we're researching, trying to do things the way that we feel uh, is best. And I pray that uh, and hope that you will uh, keep this in mind and treat each other with respect and kindness as we come back together. And that you don't run down people's ideas or what we're trying to do, but that you realize that uh, the motives and intentions behind it are good. And that we should be unified together and be praising God together, not quibbling amongst each other. And so I want to encourage you to remember this, to remember that we are all unified to a common goal. And that goal is to spread the love of Jesus Christ to others, that other people may know him. You know, our mission here is to love God and to love people. And we love God by praising and worshiping Him and doing what He says for us to do. Um, but we love people by 
doing what's best for them. And right now, doing what's best for them could mean giving them six foot distance. Doing what's best for them and loving on them could mean that we are keeping them safe. It could mean that we respect their opinions on something even if we don't fully agree with them. Um, I hope that we can all worship together. And I hope that all of this is in the past here soon. So that way we can look back on it and say, this was a hard time, but aren't we glad that we can do things more closely to normal now? And that's my prayer. Um, if you choose to worship with us, we thank you for coming to worship with us. If you don't, know that we still love you. And we hope that you'll continue to follow us online and catch the different things there. Thank you, and God bless.